Good morning everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Avocado Insider series. It's your host Harshad Doda. In this episode, we continue our discussion with Giovanni Cavalletto of the Californian avocado industry and we talk about how the market, uh, what the market is like in the states, in USA and uh, how distribution network is set up. So like how, where the ripening facilities are placed, where the pack houses are placed, how the produce is transported to different uh, states uh, in the USA. This is important to understand because uh, like USA, India is also a big geography. So we would need to learn what they did right in the States and try to copy that uh, in our country. So when you were working at the pack house that you mentioned, what markets were you supplying? Primarily, so so again, when I was uh, originally working in Mexico, that was for Japan, Europe, and Canada before the U.S. opened. Yes. Then later, when I was running the packing facility in California, uh, we were we were probably ninety over ninety five percent for sure uh, focused on the U.S. market specifically okay. and. If you, if you look at a map um, and you draw a line from the city of Houston yeah. um, in Texas to Seattle in, in Washington, probably 70% of, of the fruit that, that we sold was to the, to the west of that line. So what, what we call the Southwest and in the Pacific area. So Texas, Arizona, California, yeah. Oregon, Washington is a very, very heavy, traditionally heavy consuming avocado country. 30% of the fruit was sold to the east of that line along the eastern seaboard of uh, Boston, uh, Philadelphia, New York, Washington, D.C., uh, etc. And then of course, you have Chicago in the middle of the country. What's interesting, though, and that was to begin with, what, what, what's interesting, though, is that 70 percent of the people lived to the east of that line and only 30 percent of the people lived to the west. So we had kind of a heavy avocado zone in the southwest. Yeah. And and over time, we're able to develop the rest of the country, um, not quite to the level of California consumption, but you know, we, we moved it from about two pounds per capita or less than one kilo per capita to about three kilograms per capita over 20 years. And that was done via um, consistent supplies, having year round supplies. That's where Mexico really played a, a key role. Um, and then we had and then forward ripening centers. So we would do we would uh, pack the fruit in you know, in, in country, wherever the fruit was coming from, bring that into ports. Um, so we had a packing facility in California. We had a, a cold storage on the Mexican border in Texas. And then we had forward ripening uh, facilities throughout the country in Colorado, Ohio, Kentucky, um, New Jersey, where we could ship fruit green and hard uh, and then ripen it for specific customers close to where those customers were. And, you know, the United States, like India, is uh, has a very uh, big geography. It takes a lot of time to get from one side of the country to the other. And so for the in the U.S. market to really be successful, we had to have a pretty sophisticated distribution network throughout the country. Right. I hope you found the video interesting and insightful. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.